Richeline here, and this is a Amalio. This is a hammer that would have been in, in any of the Italian carrozzerias. Uh, hammered out a lot of the uh, Ferrari bodies, Lancia bodies, and Maserati body, bodies. And here's an uh, example of uh, coach work that would have been created on this type of hammer. This is a uh, Maserati 300S. right quadrant of the nose. Uh, this one, if I had made it on that hammer, would have a lot of little hammer marks. If you, if you strip an original uh, coach work from that period, you will find a lot of the hammer marks uh, in, in the original aluminum panels. I've done this with my students uh, in aluminum on the English wheel, and um, this is, a, I think, a much superior surface quality than you would get from uh, a hammer compression stretching. Uh, this panel was made, I didn't have a 300S to copy, so I used photographs and made this nice little clay model of that sec section of the nose and then using old school techniques of uh, making your profiles from this and scaling them up on a graph paper. I was able to make a, a buck and in a matter of actually six hours I created this panel on the English wheel. TIG welded it together. There's four pieces in it. And I'll show you the back side of it. And came out pretty nice. And uh, as you can see it's a beautiful shape. It's bulbous but it also has this reverse curve, and that's what makes it really sexy. The reverse curve is the bugaboo of the sheet metal uh, schools. And on an English wheel, you can do these reverse curves very easily. Uh, it takes a little, little while to learn how to do it. A lot of my students come in asking me how to do these reverse curves. The English wheel will negotiate this reverse curve uh, and make it easy. You can make a reverse curve just as easy as you can a standard compound curve once you've, once you've mastered it. And there's two ways of doing a reverse curve. You can actually shrink internally here to do the reverse curve, shrink the metal right there, or you can stretch the metal over here. On this particular one, this is a real mild reverse curve. I've stretched the uh, metal here on an English wheel. Uh, and that's what makes that panel, is that reverse curve. 